Welcome to Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Today I have Shana Barnes here, who is a political activist in addition to being an elected official. What we're talking about, Shana, welcome to Greater Brockton. Thank you. Thank First you. time for Greater Brockton. First You've time. been on other shows. Yeah. Um, there is an opportunity this year, mm -hmm. as everybody knows, there's a presidential election. Yes, huge. There's huge. a... Um, and you and I are both Democrats, and there's a Democratic National Convention this summer in July right. in Philadelphia. Right. But there are opportunities for people to get involved. Right. And you're hosting a meeting, you're helping to host a meeting uh, this Thursday night, which right. is the 17th, right. 6.30 p.m. at Brockton High School. Right. What are we going to talk about? What's, what's, what's on the agenda? Well, a friend and colleague of mine, Dana Ribeiro from the City Council in New Bedford, she contacted me. She's actually one of the coordinators of the Communities of Color um, initiative that, they've, that they started out of the Mass Dems, the, the, the state party, mm -hmm. um, just to make sure that they reach out to communities of color to make sure that they are appropriately represented um, in our political process on every level, local, state, um, and, and national level. So she reached out to me and asked if I would be able to co-sponsor and co-host a training session mm -hmm. for um, people of color that want to possibly go and be a delegate in the 2016 National Convention in Philadelphia, like you mentioned. So we're going to be doing that. Um, it's an hour and a half, or about an hour or so. We're going to have some light refreshments, mm -hmm. like you said, at Brockton High at the, in the Red IRC building. Um, it's low-key, and we're looking you know, for as many people to attend, to be trained, that intend on attending the uh, convention in, in July. So um, we're just looking for anyone that, that's interested to come. So if you intend to attend, yes. I like that. <laughs> okay. Um, it's like four or five days. You have to have the time to be able to do it, correct? Right. And, and it's also, you're... It's on your own dime. Uh, so when right. you attend the convention, there are no sponsorships or anything. I mean, I'm sure you can probably raise funds or something like that, a GoFundMe or whatever you know, people right. do now. But um, it, it is your, at your own expense to attend the national convention. I, I went and I represented the 8th Congressional District in 2012. Mm -hmm. um, and I was the delegate for, uh, uh, the delegate of color for the 8th then to, um, ex when Barack Obama accepted his second nomination for mm -hmm. the presidency. And I had an amazing time in Charlotte. It was I encourage anybody that's even thinking about going, just, just, you know, if you have to save, save the money, go get the experience. It is absolutely amazing. In addition to fulfilling my civic duty and, mm -hmm. you know, participating in the process and feeling accomplished that I actually did something, mm -hmm. um, we had so much fun. The delegates that were there, I mean, it's a national convention. So there are people, I met people there from all over the place. I met celebrities there that were also delegates. Um, if, you, if you go back to my Facebook that far, all the pictures are on there. I mean, it, people were, they were just everywhere. Everybody's of one mind looking to, uh, to, to have the nomination set forth for the, the candidate. And this year it's going to be really, really great because, you know, we, we may have our first uh, woman uh, going forward on this. So this is, um, it, it's just a really exciting time. So the convention itself, yes. there's, there's opportunities, you hear all the speeches on the floor, yes. there's a whole delegate process. So this is, you got selected, did you get selected this way the last time in 2012? No, it, it wasn't this, um, this organized then. They, okay. They've kind of developed this curriculum and this program, um, specifically targeting communities of color, realizing that we were left out of a lot of the process. So mm -hmm. um, they've, they've been able to kind of work together and put together a PowerPoint and, and like I said, a curriculum to do that. But no, when I went, I, it, it was a little different. Okay, and I mean, of color is, is African American, it's Haitian, it's Cape Verdean, it's... it's um, Latino, Latina, yeah. um, uh, uh, I'm trying to think, um, Asian, Okay. any, any person of color. If you identify as a person of color, you are... are Eligible. And it's by district. You're saying it's is, is is it organized by congressional district still, or is this slightly different? I think it might be slightly different. This particular training is open to everybody, so okay. I'm pretty sure that you know when folks get in and we kind of get them categorized, we can figure that out how to so do that. So if you even want to be a delegate, it's a good idea to come and check it out because you'll get more information. You'll have handouts there. I know your I, I know of your fellow counselor down in New Bedford, so it's mm. nice it's mm. nice to see. And this is She's great. looks to me like this is right at the moment the only opportunity in the area. In the There's area. eight of them scheduled, yeah. but this is right here in Brockton. So you don't have an excuse. You don't have to go to Framingham or A or a Peabody or Chelmsford or wherever right. else. It's right here and, in Brockton. And that's why when I, when I was uh, communicating with Dana about that, 
we realize that there's a, a high volume of, of people of color in the area of Brockton. It only makes sense to bring the training down here for us to be involved. It, there's no excuse to not get involved in this because it's right here in your backyard. It's right at you know, 470 Forest Ave. And uh, like the Demo uh, Democratic State Committee conventions that right. happen are fun. But right. This is like like on steroids, yeah. so to speak, to go to a national convention. This is like a supernova. I got invited <laughs> once. I was a little young kid. I was 14 years old. My mm -hmm. first candidate that I ever worked for was Jimmy Carter. Mm -hmm. He came and spoke at Brockton High School, and that's what got me mm -hmm. into the party and into everything. Mm -hmm. I even got invited after he got elected to go to the inauguration. See? My parents wouldn't let me go. Oh, man. I was 14. Oh. They're like, too bad. <laughs> okay, but uh, it's like signing up for the blood drive, and then you can't donate. Right, okay? right. <laughs> but uh, this is great, and, um, you know, we have a lot of people I mean this last election cycle right. there were a lot of folks that ran some won, some didn't right. that could be involved in another way like you said do the civic duty and uh, right. you know it this part doesn't cost anything right and I, I encourage people to just come and, and again even if it's to kind of set you up for something later mm -hmm. um, it, we we would really love for people that attend this to intend to go to the, the convention, but still, just attend the training. You may get something else out of it. So yeah. um, I would definitely encourage, like you said, you know, the, the volume of, of folks that have, as of late, gotten involved in local city politics, it would be a good idea if, if you know, they would want to come to this Trickle well. down theory comes from the national, goes to Absolutely. the state, and goes to the local, Absolutely. exactly. We want you, America. <laughs> so what was your favorite part? Oh, God. Um, my favorite part. You know, when we got there, um, they kind of cut off the area, the, the downtown area of Charlotte. They cut it off. It was kind of like Olympic Village. Mm -hmm. When you see Olympic Village on TV, and they kind of had us all you know, segregated, really, in this one area. And I just felt... I felt like I belonged. I felt like I was actually doing something that, you know, what I said mattered. When I sat in my seat, I had my name on my seat. I, I just felt like I was in the mix, in the know. And it was just so, it wasn't really anything particular. Just the, 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 the totality of the trip and the totality of the whole thing. And then seeing President Obama and his family and just kind of holding the signs and, and just being in, in the mix, it, it's, it's an amazing feeling. If, if you've never been to any kind of convention like that at all for anything, it's definitely a feeling that you'll take with you along the way. And I mean, again, I, um, I, mean, I was rubbing shoulders with Lynn Whitfield and um, Piers Morgan, um, Hill Harper. I mean, and they were amazing. Taking pictures, Nicole Ari Parker says she liked my nail polish, Cheryl Lee Ralph. Oh, the list goes on. Oh, well, the celebrities. We were, we, were all, we were all celebrities. You were a great salesperson for oh. this. So <laughs> here's the deal. December 17th, Thursday, 6.30 p.m., Brockton High School, 470 Forest Avenue, the Red IRC. Right. Be there or be square. Yep. Thanks, Shana. Thank you. Oh, it, can I ask yeah, if you have thing. any questions? Yes. If you have any questions, um, people can contact me, 508-680-6914. Okay. And we'd love to, love to have you. Perfect. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.